Alrighty guys, so it, it's it been a while since we've played Ark and I figured I probably should explain what's been going on because I know last thing you guys really heard about Ark was from a post and it was me thinking of just restarting. And while that is still what we're going to be doing, sadly, we are restarting. It's just I felt like we couldn't go without saying goodbye and looking back at all the stuff that we've built so far throughout the series. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. And I figured we'd just start here with the base. Now this one is honestly the base I haven't worked the most on, but it is one of our nicer bases. I ain't gonna lie. The base I like the most is definitely Scorched Earth, and that's the one we're going to be heading next to, over to next. And uh, I will say one thing as well. You may notice... Some of our creatures are missing. Well, that's because I've decided to remove those mods from the ser or the yeah from the server for now. Um, we might add them back in, such as breedable rhino nanthia. That's one I'm like instantly regretting removing. I'm just looking through, seeing if there's better options now in terms of the mods that allowed us to have certain creatures breedable. Um, a lot of our mods got also updated, like uh, no untamables. Uh, the death worms are now available, so that's something on our way back I'm hoping forward to looking to, or looking forward to, yeah, whatever. I, I lost track of what I was saying, but I really don't have much around this base to show except for my little workshop here in the farm, so this is definitely one of my better workshops. This is one I made legit just freehand. I didn't even, usually I like go and look at other people's guides or something for like nice buildings. This is one I legit just freehanded and it looks decent, honestly. I'm feeling like I'm starting to get better at building in the game as well, especially with uh structures. And yeah. And I know saying that after I made that massive treehouse, which by the way we tore down. Um yeah. I know after saying that it, it doesn't say a whole lot but let's go look at the farm over here i know i'm not really going over what i said i said this we're going to be revisiting this is me revisiting all right i've just really haven't had a whole lot here at this base to look at i mean all our creatures are here one of our farms is completely empty now because they were yeah they were breedable creatures or they were uh modded creatures but uh what i think i'm gonna do here is find me a flyer such as thor and I'm going to go upload my character, and we're going to go over to Scorched Earth and go look at that base. You know what? May as well. I mean, we're done with the series. I'm going to do it. All right? We're just, we're just going around to look at stuff. I may as well just give myself the fly command so I can do it fast. Just giving you guys a heads up. So, you know what? Again, after we leave this, I'm not coming back for any of this stuff stuff so i'm just gonna upload my survivor i don't care if it drops on the ground Alrighty, so we have made it over to scorched earth but it looks like the game is a tiny bit laggy i've been having that issue as well when i load into maps here recently i do get a bit of a stutter and i hear something growling outside I feel like there's something around my base that shouldn't be. Oh, yep, there he is. There's a Serato that spawned on my base. But here is my base that I had at the very end of my Scorched Earth series that I was working on before uh, the center came out when we decided to go over to the center. But as you can see here, I do have a nice little storage area for my train. And, of course, if you do remember, if we follow the track back there is a big 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 loop around the map and this one down here this track leads all the way down to where my old base was and as you can see you can see where our first track loop was where we went up towards green ob and all that and we got this one here the one that shot down all the way to red ob and up and around the wyvern trench but yeah, that, I will say this, this train track was probably the main thing that got me so tired of Ark, was just focusing on getting that much metal and wood, and yeah, 
it got so 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 time ex like time exhausting i just kept doing it though because i thought it would make good quality videos and it kind of did it's just i needed to do more work on my part editing so yeah but as you can see down here we do got this little cave that is underneath my house and this was my little dino storage area or that's what i was using it for I threw my dinos, that like my personal dinos, down here to keep them safe. And then if I come up here, you can see I built this really nice, complicated adobe staircase. Just trying to make it look like it's one of the older structures and we built on top of it. But yeah. And then as you can see, we got my basement to my house. And we'll just walk from here on out because that's the best way to show off the house. And I'm going to be honest, we really didn't do any decorating inside. Alright, I got my little workshop over here. Not as impressive as the one over on the center, but yeah. Um, got a little loft area up here, and then I got what I was going to make a trophy room. Or my bedroom, but it never worked out. And then we have back over in here, which was my trophy room. And these do, these did originally have artifacts in them, but except I had a mod that made artifacts transferable, and I removed it. And yeah, as you can see... It caused my artifacts to disappear. Now, the only other really good thing to show here at this space is, uh, of course, you got my, my wyvern farms. You got my standard uh, polymer and mutton farm. But the one base, or the one structure here I'm really proud of, was this was my first ever self-efficient farm. Alright? Self-efficient, roughly. Self-harvesting farm. Now, as you can see, we have it perfectly, like, sealed off. We have the Terminant Queen here from No Untamables directly in the middle. And all of her guys are going out, and they're collecting everything from the crops. That's why I love this one so much, is because it was the first one that I had where all the ants were able to go up to these and get what they needed out of them. So, yeah. Now, I really didn't have too much here at this base either. It was a work in progress. Uh, when the center came out, so we kind of took off after we demolished the previous base. But yeah, oh, and uh, we do have our Oasisaur over here. And I was thinking of adding in a mod that doesn't add levels to them and makes them readable. It's one that just makes them spawn on every map. Um, I might leave that. I might leave some stuff up here to votes, or I might just decide, yeah, that's stupid. I don't know, but yeah, this is our Oasisaur. And this is the way that we would get, like, creatures that we died back. I never had to use it. I only ever used it once. Um, and that was taming it. So. But, yeah. I'm gonna go over to the island now. And this... This is honestly the base I am the proudest about. Because it's the one that we spent, I think, a good 50? So, ep some episodes on? 40 some episodes on? Compared to the other one. Like, this base in the center that only had about... I think this one had 20, and the center was only about 12 episodes. So yeah, let's head over to the island. And we are back, and here it is, people. My base. My base that I am the most proud of, because we quite literally have set up ocean perimeter defenses that quite literally just shoot anything that gets in sight, including Kolik, the little fish. That was just so that way we could keep our water dinos safe, but as you can see... All our wilder dinos are gone. Now, mostly because they were modded, or because I packed them up and put them away. I think that's what happened. Um, but, ooh, yeah, this does cause a little bit of lag, because I have so, so many turrets. But we had our Rhino Nanthia landing pad, we ran back, and then we had the farm here, where, again, we had the poop and dung beetle farm. We had our flower and mushroom farm, but that mod's gone, and we have our, uh, our bees here, which are... Of course, producing us honey. Then we had another one of our farms and another one of our farms. And of course, these ones didn't work that great because, uh, yeah, the ants couldn't get to them. Then we have our cementing paste farm, which I'm pretty sure the ants are collecting from as well. No, they're not. But, yeah, we have our cementing paste farm where I never really used it. I always ended up just going and stealing from beavers to get cementing paste. We have our polymer farm here and, of course, our mutton farm. And then, of course, we got my standard issue uh, egg farm here with the Uteranus, Theres, Argentavis, and, uh, Ar well, these guys. That one was a surprise for me. I forgot I used them. Um, then we got my kitchen here. 
That's one structure I never got to in the other two bases was building a kitchen. Because I just kept bringing over the kibble that I made from here. Um, then I got over here my little egg hatching area. Nothing too fancy. And then I got my three special farms here for the no untamables creatures. So now we got Eryptodons. These are my Silica Pearl farm. This is how I get all my black Silica Pearls, like, mm. instantly. I love it. Then I got my Ammonite farm here. Uh, never really use the Ammonite Bile. No, I know it, like, aggros things, but yeah, I never really used it. And then, of course, I got my Biotoxin right here. And I use that sometimes to force feed on creatures. Then I got my first couple tames here, actually, in the series. And then right next to it here, we have the most useless thing ever, my tech tower. Where, yeah, this is where I built all my tech in. And then, alongside the tech tower here, hold up, I forgot, the teleporter is right up here. We're gonna walk, and then if I teleport... We have our underwater base, which is also our cloning chamber. Which, yeah... Uh, the most useless stuff ever. But as you can tell on the island, I had a lot more spare time to just build stuff. Um, now I do believe, no, because I packed them up and took them over to the center. I was going to say, I do believe I have a nominal Karaz and a uh, Eryptodon. That's a massive one down here, but no, I don't. This is my base that's at the bottom of the ocean, so, yeah. Um, I think now here comes the hard part for me, because, uh... This is all in single player, alright? And I am planning on transferring over to a server for when the Aberration comes out to play on. And that is actually probably when we're going to be picking up our Arc series again is when Aberration comes out. But we are technically restarting on the island and all that as well. So we are going to be deleting our saves. You gotta be kidding me, I just noticed this as well. The Y Ling has dropped. My god, this thing looks like a cross in between. It literally looks like they took the Argentavis and glued the bat wings onto it. That's just my personal opinion, but it looks kind of cool. But it looks too much like an Ar Argentavis for me. Okay. Now, here comes the hard part. We gotta do it. Delete single player map data. Yes. It's gone. The saves are gone. Now, there is one last thing I need to do. And that is, we're going to deactivate all our mods here real quick. Now that we have done that, all the mods are deactivated. We are going to be going over here. We're going to choose difficulty. We're going to select hard, because hard will set it all to... Uh, Default server settings. So this is vanilla arc. Like if you go and play on a public server settings now. I even believe it does turn off uh, single player settings. No it doesn't. But yeah. I don't know why people get so mad if these are on. Uh, you realize that these do give you a bit better control on certain settings. And you can actually do stuff a lot better. I do understand some people don't like it. You can always turn it off. But yeah. I think that's going to be be it for this episode because we really don't have much more we've we've deleted everything we're we're ready to restart now i will say this as well we might have a couple one-off videos here coming out like uh taming guides for new modded creatures that have come out since i take i've taken my break just so that way i can like show you i know how to tame it and i went out and tame it and show you guys how to tame it you know that kind of deal um but Mostly, we are going to be waiting for uh, Aberration to come out here on the 4th of next month. Uh, September 4th? Yeah, it's going to be coming out September 4th. So, if you guys have found yourself at any point today enjoying this episode, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Because I do plan on doing more ARC. It's just, this series is over now. It's time to restart. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys got some nice memories out of it. But yeah, this has been Gun Chai signing off. Yeah.